All right, guys, you asked for it. I am hanging here with one of the most popular artists on the Friday live stream week in, week out, which it feels like forever he's been on the show. I can't imagine a Friday live stream world without him. Darren Espanto. How are you, Darren? Hi, I'm good, thank you. I'm just curious, you know, how does it feel knowing that you are one of the most requested artists on the Friday live stream? Well, I'm very grateful and um, it's an honor, of course, and not every artist gets to have this chance and it's truly humbling as well. So uh, this wouldn't be possible without the Darren Addicts who are always so supportive in everything that I do. You, you seem to have such a positive mental uh, attitude and it's so important, of course, especially in a year like we've had, right? Which is just so unprecedented and it seems like there's, you know, a roadblock here and, and a left turn we didn't expect there. How have you been managing? What have you been up to in 2020? So I've been editing vlogs for my YouTube channel and I've been trying to learn more about about producing my own music and I've been doing dance covers as well and of course singing so I've been recording um, a new song so I hope y'all could watch out for that it's coming out very soon uh, you don't just edit vlogs right do I understand you edited the BTS dance cover you did as well vlogs are a different kind of editing experience and the BTS um, dance was more of like you know doing your own music video so I got the opportunity to kind of have my own creative spin on that. I really like your style of dance because I think it's a very specific and deliberate style of dance, okay. right? It's, you sort of make every movement mean something. Where did you learn how to dance? No, I guess playing video games, but uh, I didn't really get into dancing until I started doing the musical variety show which we have in the Philippines called ASAP. And uh, the first few things I did there was of course sing. And then the next few weeks they started asking me if I wanted to dance. So I guess I just got used to it because I do it every week. I know this is a pretty tight shot we have on you right now. Uh, is there any sort of maybe like an upper body favorite dance move? Well, I mean, the wall is pretty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, you, you can hit that from anywhere. Yeah, that's the only upper body movement kind right. of dance I could do or like. I used to do the sprinkler back in the day. Oh yeah, it's very <laughs> popular until now. You're 19 now. You've literally, you know, for those who don't know, you've grown up in so many ways in the public eye. You know, how has that made you who you are today? You know, it always isn't easy. You lose your privacy and people are always waiting for you to make a mistake. But you really just have to accept that you can't always please everyone. And, you know, through the years with that knowledge, I'd say that brought me to where I am today. I know a big part of who you are today, of course, is family. You've incorporated them into some of your work as well. Can you tell the story of this uh, really great photo shoot at home where sort of mom, dad, everybody pitched in? Yeah, so um, my management uh, and record label asked for new PR photos because I've been doing so many virtual events and virtual concerts. And so we did that here at home and it was a lot of fun. I'm always thankful that they're always willing to help and assist me in doing all of these things. And they're all very supportive. Yeah, I saw that you asked your Darren Addicts recently what song you should cover next. Some of the songs that they mentioned I've already done in past concerts. <laughs> right. uh, I guess they just want like a studio version kind of, but I definitely want to try and make more covers and try and cover Holy too by Justin Bieber. I thought this was interesting. I saw this between the last time we chatted and now that you accidentally deleted some of your unreleased music off your laptop. I don't know if this is a sort of subject or not, but did you happen to recover it? Like tell us the story here and what happened. I was at the end of the song and I zoomed out to see the whole project and what it looks like. Um, and half of it was just gone, like more than half actually. So I went onto Twitter, I tweeted to the Darren Addicts and the people who follow me if they could, if they knew how to recover vocals or tracks from uh, GarageBand. Dude, I love that you went to social though, because I always say like fandoms are the best Google. It's like, can I microwave this? Like silly questions, I'll just ask yeah. the fandoms. Dude, they're there like in 90 seconds, man. They're there before you yeah, know it's, it. It's, it's real people too. It's not like Google where it's like, okay, do I trust? Bro! This person who just put it onto Google, you know? I'm so happy you feel me on this because sometimes I get the tweets like, you know there's Google. I just ended up <laughs> re-recording the song and the vocals and stuff, but at least this time like I knew how I wanted to, uh, my, like my attack on the song, I knew what I wanted to do with it. Totally. Yeah. It is time for the Darren Addicts to weigh on in with some fan questions. Let's get to at Ally the Army. She asks, who would you like to do a collab with? What music genres would you like to experiment with in the future? You know, like it's a far reach, but I've, I always say Bruno Mars, cause yeah. you know, like who knows? Um, 
I, I've already collaborated with a lot of the people I look up to in the industry in the Philippines. So, yeah, Bruno mm-hmm. Mars, if like internationally. Bruno now is, is writing and producing for artists. So it would almost be cool to even like dip your toe in a collab with him in that yeah. realm, right? Where yeah, he writes a song for you, or produces a song for you. That'd be really, really cool. Just to uh, Ali's second half of that question, you know, any genres you're, you're particularly interested in experimenting with? Well, most of the songs I've released before were like pop and ballad. So I'd like to get into more like alternative and also, um, not really hip hop, but something kind of like that. Something percussive, maybe. Yeah, I'd say so, cause it's it's pretty popular in the Philippines right now, doing those type of those types of songs. So I'd like to, you know, try and do a a song that's kind of like that, but of course, like it still sounds like there. Right, you know? right. It's poured through the filter of you and who you are. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, at Janan uh, Ians. Why? I hope that's how I should take him. So they said, yay, thanks, Kevin. Since it's pandemic, any plans of going back to the Philippines soon? Hopefully soon, yeah. But uh, I also look forward to spending uh, Christmas mm-hmm. with my family since I'm already here. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, but I, I really miss the Philippines and performing on a stage. At The Rain 17 uh, says, you entered the music scene at 13 years old. How did you cope with the pressure and homesickness working in the Philippines away from your family in Canada at such a young age? That must've been tough. Yeah, actually I didn't cope with um, homesickness very well. Uh, (laughs) I would always be emotional when fans would tag me in pictures of my family and I. And I remember like when I would be able to do shows here in Canada and f- going back onto the plane without my family, like I'd be crying <laughs> when, oh, I bet. Uh, on, like on the takeoff. So yeah, I, w- I didn't handle that very well, but you know, I got used to it over the years. Dude, I used to cry going to school when I was young enough. So I can't imagine, <laughs> which was like two, yeah. two blocks away from our house. So I can't imagine flying across the world, man. Um, oh, yeah. At Solid 8 Joy, uh, planning on doing another dance cover. Dancing isn't really my first love, you know? right. so I'll have to think about uh, another dance and, you know, choreography for it. But of course, I, I want to do more dance covers in the future soon, just so that it's something different from me singing all the time. So in other words, Solid 8 Joy, keep streaming and viewing the BTS dance cover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to thank Darren X for sending in the questions and of course you for taking the time, Darren. I'll talk to you soon, all right? Oh, thank you. Take care, you guys. Stay safe.